Hello and welcome to the third spin of the year, of 2024. So yes, this is TBR Spin. If you don't know, this is a reading challenge where you pick 12 books at the beginning of the year and then we spin a wheel that leads us to a prompt that will ideally lead us to one of the books on that stack. This is hosted by both me and Jill from The Book Bully. We alternate whose channel the prompts gets put on. So for March, it's it's me, it's on my channel. Also, it's happening crazy early. I mean, it's still gonna be posted at midnight on the 1st of March, but I'm filming this on February 10th because I'm moving. So all that's to say, I'm gonna have a lot going on. And specifically when this video is supposed to go up, I'm going to be in Colorado where we're moving to pick up keys and like get some things sorted out, internet, power, all that good stuff. So therefore I am filming it now. So because of that, I have not read, I have not finished reading my February book. And also let's talk a little bit about that. So the February prompt was to read a book that makes you feel like you're outside in the sun. And after seeing that, I realized how many like sad books I have on my TBR. So I had originally picked Claudia Pinedo's A Little Luck, which is translated by Francis Riddle. And this book I chose just because of the location it's set in South America. And also it has a very sunny cover. However, I did decide to change my pick because I just have no time to like sit down and read right now. We're like going through packing and doing a bunch of things. There is opportunities for me to listen to an audiobook, but to actually sit down and read, my brain can't slow down for it and I just don't have the time for it. So I did check to see if there was an audiobook of this. I didn't see any, but also it was kind of a half-hearted search because I really want to physically read this one. I don't I don't really want to listen to it. So I decided to just wait and save it for later. And instead I went with the only other book that I thought could possibly fit this prompt. You Have a Friend in 10A by Maggie Shifstead, which is a collection of short stories. I think some of them could fit in this prompt. I've only read the first story so far. And actually I don't think I finished it yet. I think I have just like a couple pages left. And it's set on a farm and it feels, it does feel sunny. So I'm gonna say that already it's a win. <laughs> also Vintage is the publisher and they have a sun as their little logo. And so there is a sun technically on this book. And so I'm gonna take it. And not to mention there is an audiobook for this on Spotify. So that's how I've been listening to it. So I can't really tell you my thoughts on that one. But ideally I'll have a wrap up video. I actually don't know because that's gonna be like peak things happening time would be when I would typically record that. So I might end up doing a like two month wrap up at the end of March. And then I will talk about my actual thoughts on the book. But anyways, so a little luck is going back on my stack. As a reminder, if you haven't been joining us, but you would like to, then all you need to do is pick 10 books right now to be on your TBR stack and you can play along from here. So this is my current stack and let's spin. A book that will, I'm nervous about whatever. Okay, a book that will heal you. Ooh. Um. Oh my gosh, I don't actually know. So you may have noticed this year already that we've been having fun with the style of prompts and trying to keep them as loose as possible to be able to possibly fit a book that's like a part of a stack because ideally like you would be pulling from the stack that you created at the beginning. So a lot of these prompts are like what they mean to you. For me, a book that will heal you could mean so many different things because I think that it kind of depends on where you're currently at. Like in what way do you need to be healed? For example, sometimes you just like need a good cry and that will help you. So you pick a sad book, even though that might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think heal you. For me, I don't, okay. Just as a quick look at what I've got going on here again, I've got this selection. I would like to be able to listen to the book because March is gonna be the actual move and it's gonna be a lot of unpacking and everything. So I'm gonna take out A Little Life for the same reason that I ended up not reading it this month. Okay, and I don't think like Stephen King's Misery or American Psycho are really the way to go because I don't think that that will heal me. <laughs> I do kind of like the idea of Gatsby, but I never really envisioned myself listening to that one. Okay, I think I've narrowed it down to one of these three books, but I can't decide. I don't know if I wanna go straight into another short story collection right after doing You Have a Friend in 10A, plus I'm reading an anthology right now, Never Whistle at Night, and then I'm between these two. I think I'm gonna go with Gatsby, which actually I do kind of like the idea of because I think that I like 
a book set in this time period. I really liked uh, Rules of Civility and I don't know what it is, but that felt like a very healing experience for me. I don't know if it was where I was at when I was reading it or what, or maybe it's just like Amor Tolls' writing because I feel the same way about Gentlemen in Moscow, but that book did something to me. And so I don't know if it's fair to say like another book set in the 20s will also do that to me, but I think at the very least it will heal my embarrassment at having not read this book yet. <laughs> because this is like one of the books I feel like the most guilty about not having read. Not guilty, but just like a, a little bit ashamed being like such a reader and I haven't read Gatsby. Like, come on. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna do it for this video. But I do wanna encourage you as you're picking your book that this prompt is totally what it means to you. I mean, I'm literally healing my embarrassment. So <laughs> you can heal whatever you want with this prompt is what I'm saying. So thank you so much for watching. If you are doing this, if you're doing TBR Spin, then feel free to tell me what book that you're picking in the comments or to make sure that you tag Jill and me in any posts that you make about it because I love seeing those posts. And of course, Jill will be posting the next prompt so make sure that you're subscribed to her. And also we have a story graph and a Discord channel. So if you wanna chat about the books that you picked, the books that you've been reading, then definitely come hang out with us there. All right, bye.